Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. A rough start to the holiday weekend. Two major roads shut down at the height of rush hour this afternoon. One over a suspicious package on Ward and South King. The second at Kapilani and Eisenberg as a fire broke out at an apartment complex. We begin with the high-rise fire at the Marco Polo Apartments in McCulley tonight. KITV 4's Kyoki Kerr live with that story. Kyoki. And Laura, the fire gutted the apartment that's home to a family of five people, but it could have been a lot worse. The fire broke out just before 5.30 tonight in apartment 2311 at the Marco Polo on the corner of Capiolani Boulevard and Eisenberg Street. The fire department says the fire appears to have started from unattended cooking in the kitchen which is a small kitchen open to the living room. So it grew rapidly, spread throughout that area, and then extended into um, the, the bedrooms, two bedrooms. A man home at the time of the fire was asleep in a bedroom and smelled the smoke. He woke up, saw the fire in the kitchen area, and uh, left to get help. The, the, he uh, left and the door shut behind him. Fire Captain Terry Seelig says that's a good thing since that kept the flames from spreading down the hall to other units. The fire gutted the 23rd floor apartment, causing about $220,000 damage. Three other adults and a child who lived there were not home at the time of the fire. Marco Polo was built before laws went into effect requiring fire sprinklers and high rises, and it was not covered by any retrofits. If there were fire sprinklers, this would not have had this much damage. The fire would have been uh, confined by the time we got there. Probably would have been, you know, moderate damage, but not like what we're seeing. The closest fire hydrant was this one across Kapiolani Boulevard from the complex. So police had to close all six lanes going both ways on Kapiolani for more than a half hour tonight. So firefighters could stretch their water supply hoses across the street and connect to the Marco Polo's standpipes. Firefighters were able to bring the flames under control in 14 minutes and extinguish the fire within 17 minutes. No one was hurt. The family can't live in the apartment for now, so tonight they are staying with relatives. Back to you, Laura. All right. Thanks, Kiyoki.